The work ethic you bring to anything, you bring to everything. So one of my first jobs in high school was a bagger. I was a grocery bagger. And when I bagged groceries, I tried to be the fastest bagger in the group. And then all the other baggers, I was having this secret competition with them to see who could bag the fastest. So I went back to that same grocery store as an adult once I had kids. And it wasn't, I didn't live there anymore. I just happened to be driving through. So I go, I went in and I bought some stuff and the guy helped me bag it. And then he walked me out to my car. So I let him carry my bag out to the car and I said, how do you like working here, son? He says, it's okay, you know, I just kind of do the littlest amount I have to do. I coast up and I get paid the same no matter whether I work hard or not. And I said, man, I gotta tell you, that really, that really breaks my heart to hear you say that. I said, let me tell you, I was a bagger here too. And I worked hard as I could. I was the fastest bagger I could possibly be. You're not stealing a thing from them, it doesn't matter. You're right, it's not gonna change the world by being a bagger. You're robbing from your future self because the work ethic you develop bagging groceries or cutting the yard or washing the dishes, the work ethic you bring to anything, you bring to everything. So later on in life, by skiving off at bagging groceries, when you're trying to do a heart surgery or you're flying an airplane or you're designing the next cell phone, you're gonna be skiving off at that. You can't make a difference if you skive off. You're not robbing anybody when you don't develop a work ethic. You're robbing yourself. Curiosity means you get to do whatever you want. If you bag groceries for a week and you hate it, go try something else. Go experience different things and see what you love. What does everyone that you see that's successful in the world have? They're purposeful. Whether they're curing cancer, creating the new technologies of the world, leading the world, being a soldier, being a, a great athlete, they're purposeful. They know what they want. I started writing down all the things I wanted in the different areas of my life, and you know what? I started getting them, right? Because here's what's interesting about life. We have 75, 85,000 thoughts a day in our heads. And you know the problem with our thoughts? 90% of the thoughts we have today are the same thoughts we had yesterday. You can stay in your thoughts or you can stay on your purpose. So what's your purpose? What do you want? And if you know what you want and you start going after it hard, then you'll start getting what you want. And you can't fail. Because here's the definition of success. Choose what you want, get up every day, and walk towards your outcome. Do the three most important things. If you do that, you can't fail. You're gonna get knocked into the mud, you're gonna get thrown into the brambles, you're gonna have down times and you're gonna have high times. But if you keep getting back up and walking towards your purpose, you cannot fail. Where you can fail is by not having a purpose, being aimless, wandering through life and taking what they give you, you know? If you don't choose anything, then you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. We only learn from the failures, we don't learn from the successes. The successes make you want to beat your chest and walk around and say, I am doing great, look at me. It's not, the fa it's not the successes that teach you, it's the failures. And then you want to practice alignment. What does alignment mean? So if you say this and you do this, that's being out of alignment. You want to practice keeping your word. You want to practice having integrity. Because if you say this and you do this, does anyone know people like this? Like, I'm going to go hitchhike around the world and you see them later and they've done nothing. And then you want to move that towards an overlap where I say this and I do this. You're going to have some overlap because nobody is perfect. Everyone falls short. And in that little part of the overlap is where you begin to find the magic. And over time, as you keep your word and you, ha you become a man of faith and you do what you say you're going to do and you have your purposes and your goals and you move towards them on a regular basis, then what you say and what you do lines up. And then this becomes powerful. Then you become a powerful person. You become a person of your word. And the word is important. And when you become a person of your word and you keep your word, you can move mountains, you can make things happen. But if you're a person that says this and does this and is out of alignment and out of integrity with your life, you can't do anything. You're just like a leaf that gets blown with the wind. And this, like anything else, is just a walking towards it. No one is perfect, everyone falls short. But the closer you can get that alignment of your word with your actions, the more vibrant and dominant your life will be.